back to the Super Bowl controversy, and there's been a lot of talk about whether Jay-Z had a huge hand in selecting Kendrick Lamar. Some people say yes. Some people say there's a whole board of committee that people have to agree with, blah, 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 blah. While an executive producer says that it's strictly Jay-Z's decision. So let's go over the article. Jay-Z is indeed the person who makes the final decision on the Super Bowl halftime show performer every year, according to someone who would know the show's executive producer. Following last week's announcement that Kendrick Lamar would be headlining the 2025 Super Bowl in New Orleans and not the no love native Lil Wayne, there's been a ton of vitriol directed at Hove from angry Wheezy fans. However, there were varying opinions on whether it was really Jay who should be the who should uh, the finger pointing should be at. Uh, but a new conversation with Variety published on Monday, September 16th, Hollywood executive Jesse Collins has confirmed it is indeed the Rock Nation mogul behind the decision. Collins, who's been an EP on the Super Bowl halftime show since 2021, said, it's a decision that Jay makes. Since we've been on board with that show, he's made it every year, and it's been amazing. He's always picked right. He also showed love to Weezy, adding, we love Wayne. There's always Vegas odds on who's going to get to perform it, but I think... We're going to do an amazing show with Kendrick. I think everybody's going to love the halftime show. I know Kendrick is going to work exceptionally hard to deliver an amazing show. I agree. I think Kendrick's going to deliver an amazing show. Jay-Z is the decision maker, though. It's 100% confirmed. The executive producer, who is literally like right next to where Jay-Z's at when it comes to the show, says that, then there's nothing anybody can go back and forth with. Jay-Z is one who decides, so we're clearly never going to see an Eminem halftime show. We're never going to see a 50 Cent halftime show. We're never going to see... I'm talking about them solo, like by themselves, not with Dr. Dre, which was cool. I love the Dr. Dre moment, but we're never going to see those artists. We probably won't ever see Drake. Um, who else does Jay-Z just hate their guts? Uh, I don't know, but we're not going to see a lot of artists because Jay-Z is going to somehow implement himself into it and not let certain artists perform. Hey, we're never going to see Kanye probably on there. And you kind of, I don't know if you want Kanye on there. I saw a tweet saying like, that's Kanye with the whole America watching him. He's probably going to say some outlandish crazy stuff with the mic in his hand. Uh, and I can see that. But we're never going to see Nicki Minaj there. We're never going to see, um, I don't know who else, but Jay-Z's got like a, per, a list of people that he doesn't fuck with and they don't fuck with him. And it just is what it is. Now, Jay-Z and Eminem, I'm not saying that they don't fuck with each other, but if Eminem were to do a halftime show, he would definitely bring 50, and Jay-Z does not like 50 at all, and 50 doesn't like Jay-Z. You know, even though 50 gives Jay-Z props, and Jay-Z is giving 50 props, they just don't like each other overall. Uh, but yeah, Jay-Z's got the final decision, and hey, it is what it is, man. He's the one that stepped up to the plate to reorganize things and make things more, after the Colin thing, Colin Kaepernick thing, uh, to make it more culturally... Um, I don't know, we're looking for the right word here. Culturally uh, implemented. I don't know what the right word would be used. But yeah, just more with the culture of hip-hop and just appreciating hip-hop and less racist, racism, tensions, and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm excited for the Kendrick Lamar show, man. Wayne would have done his, done his thing, of course, but Kendrick, I'm excited for. So yeah, can't wait for that.